Hello there, Ruby Retrograde Tarot and T here. And what I will be uh, showing you guys today, sorry, I'm realizing I have my ring on. Um, what I'll be showing you guys today is uh, part, I don't, like one out of 1500 million at this point of <laughs> decks that um, pretty much when I moved were still in shipping boxes. And so I am finally going about, um, you know, like actually, like I have opened them, but actually unboxing and going through with it. So um, I, it, it's part procrastination, part laziness, part life. Um, and then I wasn't necessarily feeling it for a while, but now I'm kind of kicking my butt to do it and not... Uh, uh, tarry too long but in any case so this deck that i will be uh getting comes to us from uh sarah kathleen and i've decided to start with uh with this deck because she happens to also have a campaign going on at the time of i'm filming this on kickstarter for um still in her I, I i'm gonna call it like series or collection um but um the, uh, it's called i believe creatures black and white or something like that it's there is a mini tarot and then there's uh another set of tarot but this one in black and white uh i was gonna show the box that came in but i think uh, no he doesn't have my address but anyways it, so the tarot i'm talking about they kind of came in this box here um and so uh, what I'm talking about is called the Creatures Tarot. This was a campaign that was back uh, in January of uh, 2023. Uh, it was a 30 day campaign, so it ended in February. And then I personally received my copy in May of 2023, which clocks in with uh, me getting ready to move and all of that. So, um, uh, all of that anyways so this is the box that comes in it's very lovely i got little thank you cards and here you can see the general feel of uh of this deck when i saw it it just looked really like there was something it felt like a hug something warm uh definitely cute uh was in my aesthetic this is her website if you want to go there. She also has an oracle and I don't know how I managed to not buy the tarot and add it into this campaign. And I think I might end up doing it with this current campaign that she has for the creatures black and white. Um, here, we just got a little thank you card from Sarah Kathleen. Uh, so thank you. Saying thank you, thank you, thank you. But thank you. And so it came here with... Um, I don't know what to call it, nest paper. And this is the deck, the Creatures Tarot. Very cute and lovely. So let's put that aside and let, as you can see, oh, wait, there's more. Not me about to be like, all right, that's all in the box. Let me just toss it out. That's right, that's right. Because I backed the tarot and I also uh, bought an add-on. Okay, I want to be sure this time that I'm not forgetting something because watch me throw something away without paying attention. But um, I bought an add-on, which is, what is it called? It's something like the um, Zodiac sign. Like it's a little deck that has, I believe it's called the Zodiac or something. Anyways, we were going to open, we're going to look at it. Uh, is, is it. Is there a name? No. Anyways, the pack. Oh, okay. I guess it had altern alternate cards. And let me see. What is it called? Oh, oh the additional arcana. That's what it's called. Um. So basically, the additional card. I'm just reading off the page of Kickstarter. Um, how, um, what it is. So the um, the additional card. Uh, so I'm gonna quote from the page. Essentially, I couldn't decide which death card I like better, and then I got a second idea for a hierophant, and well, the ball kept on, just kept rolling. 
This set of 22 cards come in its own velvet bag, although you can fit them into the box if you don't mind a bit of a squeeze. These do not replace the major arcana included in the deck. It is completely separate. You must buy the main deck in order to purchase this additional arcana. Um, blah, 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 blah. Um, so, yeah, so basically it's just... Um, it's just an alternate of the arcanas they don't necessarily replace but anyways let us start now the light is kind of shining bright on it i couldn't decide if i wanted to turn the lights on or not and i'll turn it light because it looked pretty dark in the camera maybe i anyways maybe i i did a i should have went without but in any case so this is uh, the creature's tarot a simple human free thoughtfully designed tarot deck and her web page it is a two-piece box, as you can see. Plain. We have the guidebook inside. We'll take a look at that later. It's pretty thin. It's So there's not going to be too much, too much. And then, see here again, it's plain. The back of the cards. I, mean, I, I, I have to smell paper. It's in, the smell is okay. Then again, granted, it's been in the box for quite a while, so maybe it's whichever. So, as we can see, ooh, hold on. There we go. So, here are the cards. They are reversible. I don't remember seeing the back of the cards in the campaign, but this is kind of pretty. I do like it. This purpley pink kind of sky going on here. Uh, plain sides the feeling of the cards it's on the thin side uh i almost want to be want to say a bit thinner than u.s game cards uh i believe if i look at the page i can tell you what the um okay so the card stock is 310 GSM Heretic Smooth Black Cord Playing Card Stock. So, uh, and, it, and she even says it here that it's a thinner than a standard tar tarot card, which means it's slightly more flexible. And I, I can definitely feel the thinness, but it does feel like it kind of slips nicely. And now I'm not too sure which way to go because it seems like it's going backward if I go front. So I think I will go this way and maybe also whoa oh so sorry about that that is my lamp making appearance let me try to not drop everything um i'll take also this is nice this is a nice velvet bag like it's very like the the the, the fabric is kind of thick and plush feeling what i'll do is i think i'll take out the extra cards and we can compare right side by side the, we'll call it original, and then the additional arcana. So let's take this off. Uh, if it wants to come off, there we go. And I think I will have to go this way. Let me go real quick. No, not even. What is going on with these cards? Okay, I might have to. What's going on? Okay, we're all mixed up. What is it? How 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 are we doing this? How are we doing this? Okay, this is what we'll do. We're gonna zoom in. Ooh, they're slippery. The and also it. I I forgot to say that it's matte. We're gonna zoom in. Okay. And then. I think that should be fine. And then once I get to the major arcana, at some point in time in this deck, <laughs> I will bring in the additional arcana so we can um, compare. So uh, this is how uh, it came, came out of the box. We're starting with the King of Cups, which is very cute. Queen of Cups. Looks like Nessie. The Knight. Page of Cups. 
Or maybe that's messy. I don't know. Ace. I wonder if all the creatures are going to be holding like some sort of uh, grape juice going on. Three of Cups. As we can see, it's based on Rider Waite Smith. So there will be um, similarities. Where, while it's not a complete uh, um, copy paste of the original. Here, I like this here. You can see the little monster there. I know, even though it's, you know, very simple um, facial expression, expression, I can kind of sense the way that, you know, he's got the, the four cuffs, but kind of like, eh. I have all of this, but none of them are really appealing to me, type of thing. Got the five. It's a beautiful sky. Six. The seven of cups, which we see on the cover box. I like that rainbow. That rainbow feels very rainbowy. If it's a perfect description. Ah, there we are. Now all of a sudden, <laughs> we are at the major arcana, and so let me just compare here with the additional arcana. My light is shining directly on this card. I'm not sure what I can do to take the glare out. Let me move the light here, so. Ah, much better. Okay. So here we have the two versions of the Fool. I'm liking this. Something about this guy that I really like. The Magician. Here I would say I kind of lean more a little bit to, more towards this one. Maybe because there's a sense of action going on more than here maybe that would be like um preparing to move all of these things around the priestess high priestess mm, this one i don't know if i i think i would probably leave it to the original although this one is also very cute The Empress. I lean a bit more towards this one. Maybe because of the flowers. Maybe I'm biased against flowers. The Emperor. Here, this one. The Hierophant. I'm leaning a bit more towards this version because it reminds me more of the Rider Waite Smith. And I kind of like um, the nighttime depiction. A bit more than with the owl. I don't know. I think I think the owl, just the owl. Um, against the night sky isn't giving me as much as this one then we have the lovers two very pretty versions i think it's a tie on that one the chariot They're all so cute. This one kind of, it, it makes me smile because it's a snail. And, you know, the chariot is always, I'm 
always hearing the trade about some uh, about uh, it being uh, fast and um, there's a sense of of uh, go getting and you know we're doing this right now and hop to it and almost yeah fast 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 and then we have the snail just like hey we're heading there <laughs> just we're heading there when we're getting there don't don't worry about it and then here it's more like i don't know it looks like a wasp maybe a bee and they're getting there but definitely much faster than this one and we have strength Two are good, but there's something about the alternate, um, the alternate strength. Something about the stance. I don't know. Yeah, something about the stance that I, I I'm really liking here. The hermit. Here is a. It's like a little peekaboo, peekaboo over here, peekaboo over there. So adorable. Wheel of Fortune. Justice. Hmm. This one is more cla is more classic with the blind justice, so kind of like this one a bit more this one I, I do get justice but I don't know there it's to me it's like maybe something is missing here maybe with the blindfold I would be okay no I don't even think it's a blindfold I know something here I like a little bit better and it yeah, with the sword up it kind of makes me think of maybe the nothing has been decided yet or you know that no action's been taken yet and then here you know it's done and then we look at what we have the hangman it's also adorable i don't know how i managed to since i moved which is, has been a like six or seven months how did i not tear the box open to to uh use this card because every time i i would think about it and then i something happened and i ended up not doing it death something there's something comforting about this then we have temperance Pretty similar. And then we have the devil. Quite an interesting take on it. The tower. Also interesting there. star they're both so cute the moon I think I like this one better although this one there's something that kind of makes me smile about it it's a little bit humoristic And we have uh, the sun. Ooh. Definitely this one. I like that one. This glorious, glorious sun going on here. Here makes me think of the sun. But because the sky is dark, it makes me think of either like a really bright moon. Or like maybe like a... a well, think if it's a solar eclipse, you wouldn't see the sun. But I don't know. It has... Sometimes when you, I see pictures, it, it seems like the, the sun has this like hazy kind of glow type of thing. Like it, it remind it kind of makes you think of like an eclipse like sun or maybe like a there's a, a very thin layer of clouds that's covering it but definitely this one this one i like a lot 
Now we have judgment. And then we have the world. Both very cute. I think I like... Yeah, mm. I think I'm going to have to do no contest. It's a tie because both of them I like for about the same reason. Very evocative. Okay. So now we're done with the, the additional arcana. Let's continue with the king of pentacles look at the queen I like the color trees over there the knight oh, so I had to take a little break because my battery was running low on my uh, camera. Uh, so, Page of Pentacles. The Ace. This one too. It kind of makes me smile. Kind of like a, hey, I'm here. I got it for you. Do. These three of pentacles. We got four. Five. It kind of makes me think of the uh, the little monster on that seven of uh, seven of cups. I think there's resemblance. Where is it? There you are. I don't think it kind of kind of looks alike. Six. Seven. That's pretty. Eight. Nine. Look at this little ball of a monster. Ten. Now we're with the swords. The Queen of Swords, interesting. Then we have the Knight. Page of Swords. And Ace of Swords. Two of Swords. Ooh. Like, it's a pretty three of swords. Yes, the meaning is not the most joyful of things, but I don't know, just the uh, embellishment going down there. Then we have four. Five. Six. Pretty straightforward. Seven. Also pretty straightforward. We got eight. There's something about the colors used. Even that, it, it kind of, even the colors used, it, it carries the, it adds to the meaning. I don't know if you, if you know what I mean. Like this orange, kind of maybe danger or, um, be careful type of thing. I don't know, something in the whole um, color palette. Oh. 
we got nine. And ten. And now we are on the last suit, which is the King of Wands. And I, there's something about this I really, I, I, yeah, I really like. Queen of Wands, cute little flower. The Knight of Wands. Let me hold on. It looks like there's like thunder going on in the background. Is that what it is? Hold on, let me look at my eyes with my eyes eyes and not the camera eyes. Yeah, it looks like uh, some lightning going on in the background and the night kind of trying to see above the storm. Page of Wands. And Ace. Again with a, hey, here you are. It's right there. I don't know, something in my head it's almost like kind of I see it popping up. Something about it kind of makes me giggle a little bit. Two of Wands. A similar stance to the Rider Waite Smith. Three of Wands. Got four. Six. Seven. Eight. Very classic. They're kind of making me think that like the picture was cut off and if the there was more you'd see like a a big birthday cake like the picture was taken uh almost on an angle like this and then fill it in and it's a cake anyways that's just my head how it runs don't mind me we got nine of wands with a curvaceous little creature And then the Ten of Wands. And then the two extra cards that come with the deck, which is Belief. And the Journey. Very pretty. Alrighty. I, I'm, I'm, yeah. So, so far, again, I am loving it. It is adorable. I it feels like a hug. Um, I don't think I'm gonna. Uh, I don't think I'll switch now with the uh, with the the, arc the additional arcana. But what I will do now, I will shuffle the deck, and we will take a look at the guidebook, and pick. Uh, we'll have one major arcana and one minor arcana. Oh, no, I am not doing this properly. But yes, it is it, it is quite flexible. So in theory, I should be able to bridge it if I wanted to. But I don't know if it's because I haven't done the bridge in a long time. It is not working out for me today. Maybe I should have kept it. It did fly out technically. It was a three of pentacles. And the fool. There we go. All right. So, yeah. Hold on. I just want to try again because I don't see why I should not be able to bridge. If I still can't, that just means I'm going to have to practice because, again, it's been a long time since I've bridged, maybe because my other cards were too stiff for it. There we go. All right. All right. The world can keep, can, can keep on turning. I did it. It's all good. 
No tra tragedies here. There we go. Yay! Okay. All right. Let's stop shuffling. It's just because it's it's nice and bouncy. It's flexible. But um, if you are doing the bridge like I was trying to do, do a may bow in the direction you were doing the bridge. So, but I managed to keep it, make it back to more or less straight. So we're good. Anyways, we got. Here, let's do it in order. The Three of Pentacles came first. The Fool came second. And we will... Ooh, 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 I went too far in. I went to go out. We'll now read... From the little white book, the pamphlet. So this is what it looks like. Oop. Just stapled down the middle. And let's see what we have. So it just says here, this simple booklet can help you uncover the basic traditional themes of each. Oh, why is it not? Hello. Are we not uh, focusing today? What's going on? Well, sorry, guys. My, my uh, camera has decided uh, to be on strike for whatever the reason. But in any case, um... I will read it and hopefully the, the blurriness is not driving you too crazy like it is to me. Uh, so the simple booklet can help you uncover the basic traditional themes of each tarot card and gently help you on your journey. It is very easy to spend our energy on research rather than reflection. It is very easy to find ourselves leaning heavily on outside resources and listening to other people's voices first, while considering our own inner voice as an afterthought, if at all. This is why my deck is simple. This is why this booklet is short. It is my hope that the simplicity will strengthen your trust in your intuition and help you bring your own personal story into your practice. That's pretty cute. I like that. And why in the world is this camera not focusing? Very cuckoo. Okay, so here um, we'll have... I'm trying to see if to force it to... Uh... Oh, there we go. I don't know what I did, but I managed just, uh, to, to do it. Anyways, so here we have the major arcana, like uh, she said. Very simple. And then the minor arcana, a simple set of words. And then for the bonus cards. And then more about the bonus cards can be found at her website. Uh, and we have, we do not have spreads. That is okay because there are tons of resources in books and online uh, for any type of spreads if you want. So let's start with the Tree of Pentacles. Did I say tree or three? Three of Pentacles. So if we look at three... If I can flip a page. So apparently I lost all abilities today. There we go. Teamwork, collaboration, working together. And then the fool. New beginnings, positive risk taking, stepping into the unknown. So we are taking into it. What are we taking into it? There is a sense of doing your part in this new journey that we're embarking. Perhaps... It's the deck's voice, but perhaps uh, this deck's voice is that um, uh, it might be useful for me uh, in terms of uh, finding collab, like in, in the, if I have a question that has to do with the collaborative work or interacting, working with others, um, or um, perhaps even resources to to go towards when I'm taking on a new project or a new chapter in my life or something like that. Who knows? But that is what it is. And the little booklet, like it said, very simple to the point. Definitely encourage, it, it definitely a way to encourage you to uh, look into your own intuition and um, seek other resources if really you need it. But you know what? Even for how short it is, it, it does have um, a good base. If uh, someone was totally new into tarot, um, uh, and just wanted something, didn't necessarily want to read a uh, ton, like tons and tons and tons of paragraph. This would totally help. So this would be helpful for someone who would be 
relatively new uh, to the world of tarot or starting out. Uh, and now that all is done, what is my takeaway from this? This is an adorable card. I do like the backs. It almost it, it almost makes you think like this star maybe is like maybe not a star but like the planet where all these creatures are from and we're looking at it in the uh, middle of the universe or wherever but this is an adorable card the cardstock i i'm i like it it's nice and flexible even though it's thin it does not feel it, it's not because it's thin that um it's fragile it, it does have some body and robustness to it the illustration adorable it's like i mentioned before it's cute it makes me like i don't know it it kind of gives me a, a, a mental virtual hug just looking at the cards the font also even though it's in uh it's written in cursive it's it's easy to read there's no issues in reading um the the titles of the cards um the palette of colors even when in you know it's a night sky or a darker uh, paysage it's still you can still see what's going on um and the images talk um some more than others like this one at least to me this one talks a lot and this one maybe a little bit less but i still you know if if you know relatively well or have a good idea of uh the writer wade smith meaning you'll be you know it's not because it's not uh it's not exactly the same position as what we see in the writer wade smith cards that you can't you won't understand what's going on um and yeah like i mentioned something comforting about it for and i don't i don't under, again i don't understand how i manage to spend so long without just being like ah let me just uh you know find that box that has a creature terror wherever it is and I, I need to to read with it but now that it's out it's almost like ah okay lady stop being lazy and it's time to start using it and so it's probably it's probably going to make its way into it, my rotation um my usual card pull i do in the morning when i remember slash when i have time where i just kind of pull three cards and up i go to the day um otherwise i mean i i, I because of the the way of the images and how it, it makes it there's something youthful about it uh storybook like i, I mean all of these images I, I definitely would see it in some sort of a, a, a children's book. Well, whatever it was, like an adventure book, like a young, a young children, uh, young children's book. Like, so I, someone would say this would be good for, if, if you want to do, um, uh, what, what do we call it again? Um, childhood related work type of thing. Like I, I totally would see it, uh, for me. Like I mentioned for now, maybe the fourth or fifth time, something comforting, uh, maybe like a, a chit chat type of thing. Uh, I did pull the, the three of cups and the fool. So if that is what I can call the deck's voice, maybe to help with when the, taking on new adventures. Um, maybe it's to help me work better with cards in general uh whether like the relationship between myself uh the cards and whatever you want to call it spirit uh, energies um uh deities like whatever that third party is uh and um what else can i say about it other than if you get it i i i i hope this will this will uh, um convince you one way or the other if you were wondering whether to get it or not uh this definitely makes me want to go and <coughs> sorry look at her oracle deck i believe it's called creatures oracle or something like that definitely want to check it out not that i would buy it right away but if i end up 
uh, ever end up buying it, I, I would definitely not be mad about it because it's the same type of pictures. And um, from what I saw the website, it's again, very evocative pictures. Um, and then, yeah, I feel, I feel like it would be a nice touch to my collection. And uh, I'm pretty happy to have this in my collection. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I did not set this up, but how apt. So this, everybody, is the whoop, Creatures Tarot. Again, I did not set this up. Um, hopefully this uh, flipped through and uh, I can't really call it review because I haven't actually used it, used it, but this little flip, flip, ugh, flip through, walk through helped you uh, decide whether this would be a deck that you, you would like to add to your collection. Let me know um, if you were, if you were to have this, well, I, I, okay, no, at the beginning, first off, is this your style? Would this be a deck that you would get? Then from that question, if you were to have this deck, or if you were to purchase this deck, would you use it just as a, hey, I feel like pulling a card, whatever general question or something specific? Um, and then, yes, and should I try in another video to uh, perhaps uh, do a spread or whatever with it? In any case, whatever you have to say, you can put it down there in the comments. Boop, 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 boop. And thank you for spending the time with me on this flip through of the Creatures Tarot by Sarah Kathleen. Uh, I, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, she does have another campaign currently going on for the Creatures Tarot. I believe it's called Black and White, uh, along with a um, mini deck. The mini deck is a very simple illustration. I don't know that I would get the black and white because I think the colors are perfect for me and what I'm I'm uh, looking to have. I will actually give you yeah creatures black and white that is what it's called. Um, so um, yeah, I think I think I I am satisfied and I'm I'm uh, I don't know, I don't know what's the word in English comble I'm comble with this deck. I as much as I would want to get the black and white, I think this it suits perfectly yeah this is perfect yeah uh, per, in quotation because there's nothing perfect but this 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 suits this fits it's good there's no need for more um anyways this video i'm dragging it on with my rambling so <laughs> like i said comments questions whatever if we're there i will put the link for the campaign over there um and Thank you for spending the time with me on this flip through and until next time, bye-bye guys.